Hi friends, welcome to another Sunnyside Design video. Today we've got some really great information today about... Yeah, we have a really fun video for you today. So we're gonna talk all about paint. You know, we are big DIYers. And we're gonna talk about 15 things that you did not know you could paint. So stay tuned. As a homeowner, what are some of the uses that you think of when you think of paint? Probably the biggest ones are walls, doors, maybe front doors more so than interior doors, but we did those. As avid DIYers, we love using paint. Paint is most definitely the most cost-effective way to change any space in your home. Just changing the wall color can really affect the mood, the feel of a space, and it, you know, at 30 bucks a gallon, it's really not that much money. It does take a little bit of time, but it's worth it. But have you ever thought to paint other items around your home? Here we have this rug. Now, I had purchased this and it wasn't very old, but it just started looking dingy and worn and I was really frustrated. I tried to wash it, it was already striped navy and white but the blue was fading it just looked gross and i wasn't about to throw it out because it was new to me still and i thought it needs to last longer so i decided to paint it and it looks brand new now i just mixed a little bit of fabric medium in with my paint and it has now held up through the washing machine and it's just more opaque it just looks brand new again and i love it so if you have an area rug in your home maybe it's a solid rug that has stains you can't get rid of try taping off a unique pattern and painting your rug who knew right you can make your own custom rug for your home at a fraction of the cost what about light fixtures light fixtures can really make a dramatic statement in a space and oftentimes they're overlooked they're either the basic builder's grade, or if you have an older home, maybe you've just left them the same as when you purchased the home, they're just dated. Check out this light fixture. We picked this up at a thrift store for $5. Now it was this bright, shiny brass, which I was not drawn to, <laughs> but for $5, we could not pass it up. We knew we would use it somewhere down the road and we decided to use it in my daughter's bedroom. We did a makeover for her last year and we transformed it with paint and made it look like wood. And I will tell you, I was skeptical when we were doing it because it wasn't looking very good <laughs> during the process, but in the end results, I love it. So we have a full tutorial on this, how we were able to make this brass chandelier look like wood so we gave it a new look a french country chandelier with a little bit of boho flare with the wood beads what light fixtures could you transform around your home with paint have you ever thought to paint pillows so my mom had these tablecloths that she had had that had some stains you know she tried to launder them couldn't get them out I don't, I don't know what it is with us and throwing things out. Apparently we have a problem, <laughs> but she didn't want to get rid of it. We just cut the pillow right from the tablecloth and discarded the stained parts. And to make these custom and have a fun flair to them, we masked them off with painter's tape. Again, mixed a little bit of fabric medium in with the paint and created this awesome design with paint. Who knew? You can make your own pillows for your home. And really, it was a free project for us because the tablecloth we had already had, we had leftover paint on hand and fabric medium. So it was a free project, free pillows. We might be a little bit crazy for this next idea, but when you're in your first home, you're on one income, money's tight, but you want a nice home and you want it to feel nice, look nice, you go to some extent to make it feel this way, right? <laughs> so my mom was an angel and helped me paint eight of these curtain panels. 
and I don't know why I tend to do things when I'm pregnant because I guess that gives me a, a deadline that I know I have to have things finished by. But here I was, almost due, I was nine months pregnant, on my hands and knees, we were painting these curtain panels and we used a stencil, but look how they turned out, they're amazing. You know, at the time, we didn't have the money to buy prefab curtains, so these were just your basic white curtains from Ikea. They already came hemmed, they had the grommets ready to hang. All we did was use some paint and fabric medium, used our stencil and a lot of hours, and we came up with these beautiful curtains. There are other methods for using paint on curtains as well. They're maybe not as dramatic as this one, but um, they're very doable. So you have these red striped curtains. So stripes are very easy to make with painter's tape, just a simple straight line. And then these polka dotted ones, we actually used our silhouette machine to make a stencil out of vinyl so it would stick to the fabric and then we were able to paint the polka dots on that way so use your imagination what could you transform your curtains to be to reflect your personality to help brighten your room another easy way to use paint to transform things around your home is using them on picture frames now these first ones we actually created these frames out of cardboard yeah, crazy. So this whole gallery wall was completely free. We made these frames out of cardboard and we framed it with our my kids' own art. We used paint and salt wash and they look amazing. It almost looks like old vintage tin and they just look incredible. Or maybe you have some frames that you just don't like anymore. You don't like the design on it or the color. Why not transform those with a little bit of paint? I used salt wash on these as well, just because I like things to look a little bit vintage and worn, but you could definitely just use a plain coat of paint and transform those frames. So springtime's coming up here soon, I hope. The days are getting longer, so I have some hope it's coming. <laughs> what about these beautiful flowers that you buy at the store, but they come in the cheap plastic containers. Why not paint those? In this tutorial, we show you how to transform this cheap plastic pot with this faux concrete finish. Again, using salt wash, this is an amazing product. So if you've never heard of it before, we have so many tutorials on this. We've used it for so many different things. You might wanna grab yours we have a link below. Maybe your bathrooms need a little bit of updating, but you can't swallow the cost of a new vanity. Why not paint it? This was a very inexpensive way that we were able to transform my parents' master bathroom. They do plan to gut it one day, but this is just a temporary, a quick mini makeover, and it's a dramatic difference from the before. So just a little bit of paint can go a long way. What about pieces of home decor around your home that you enjoy, but maybe they're just a little bit dated. They need a little bit of updating. These bunnies, for instance, my mom has had for years. I remember them out, gosh, when I was just a little girl. And they were white, they were porcelain, they were painted, they, they were dated, but she didn't wanna get rid of them. So we used this technique in our tutorial and transformed these ceramic bunnies to look like stone bunnies, and they look incredible. So be sure to check that one out. We also have this DIY tiered tray that we made for a couple of dollars. We purchased plates from the thrift store and then a wooden candlestick. We were able to transform this candlestick with some salt wash again, mixed with some paint, and it looks incredible. This is actually one of our viewer favorites. It was really inexpensive and a really quick way to make your own unique piece of home decor. Maybe you want to try your own hand at crafting your own flowers. We made these beautiful flowers out of coffee filters and paint. Yep, you got it. We used paint 
and look how beautiful they are. So paint can be used for so many things that you just never thought of. As DIYers, we love doing things on a budget, but we also like things to look custom and given a high-end finish. We found these skull buckets at the dollar store, like little treat buckets. We removed the handle and drilled a hole through the bottom of the bucket and made our own napkin rings. We get into Halloween pretty big over here. So we painted these up, made them look really old and worn, so you can make your own napkin rings. I did mention this earlier in the video, but what about your doors? I think most often when people think of painting doors, it's their front door or just touching up a door with the original paint color. But using a contrasting paint color for your doors really can make them have a more high-end look and feel to it. So I am loving the results of these doors and we have a tutorial on that below, so make sure to check it out. Do you live in a home that's dated, maybe just needs a bit of updating? This was the case for my parents' home. It was stuck in the 90s, and it had this light wood color that just was not going for them. So they were able to remove these spindles and paint them, and they did stain on the newel post and the railing, and look at the dramatic difference. So just with a little bit of paint, a little bit of time, you can really transform things around your home. So these ideas, you have probably heard of painting furniture before, so maybe this isn't new to you, but this is something that we love. We love getting our hands on old, forgotten furniture that needs just a little bit of love, and it can be transformed into a beautiful new piece. So first off, we have this tool chest dresser. Now we have talked about this one before in other videos. It's one of my favorites. I picked it up at the thrift store for just $15. It's an old lateral filing cabinet. It was this tan color. It had gold poles, but I was looking for something to transform into a tool chest dresser for my son's bedroom. And this just screamed out, out at me because of the sh shapes, the curves on the sides. And I envisioned it on casters and in a red shiny paint. And now it's one of a kind piece of furniture. And I picked it up for just $15. Chalk paint is another way to transform furniture. It requires no prep work, no sanding. Although for this piece, we were asked to refinish this for a client. And even at first glance, we were a little hesitant because it was pretty damaged. You can see in the before picture here that it just had seen better days. It wasn't taken care of very well, but we gave it a go. We did end up sanding on this piece just because it had some deep gouges in the wood. So we got rid of those and gave it a fresh new look with some paint. Now it is one of our viewer favorites here on YouTube and Pinterest and our blog. People love this transformation. So chalk paint can go a long way on furniture as well. I'm always drawn to vintage items, old pieces of furniture with some character. And most often they're even made out of solid wood, which is hard to find these days without spending a fortune. So I picked this up at the vintage market and it was black and it actually had been refinished really well, but I painted it navy to go in our bedroom to go along with the color scheme in there. And it is just a huge difference. And I love the effect that this paint job has on it. Sad to say that we ate at this dining table for too many years, I don't even wanna say, <laughs> in this condition. I picked this table up off of the side of the road. It had a free tag on it and I thought, well, yeah, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Somebody had painted it, likely with chalk paint or something and didn't seal it. So no matter how much I tried to scrub that surface clean, it just held on to everything. And it eventually started getting tacky and things would stick to it. And I mean, look at it, it looked horrible. 
So spur of the moment, one night, nine o'clock, because why not at nine o'clock at night do you start a project? <laughs> I took some stripper to this so that I could start working on this piece. I stripped the top and we were able to leave the top natural wood and then I used paint for the base and it is a completely different piece now. I did end up changing the legs with another table that I had on hand so it had a more farmhouse look to it, but paint really can do numbers. It is just incredible to me. Even though we're such avid DIYers, it still makes this huge difference to me and I love what paint can do. Take this dated furniture, for example. My mom and I found these on our local classifieds. It came with the complete bedroom set, vanity, dresser, a bed, a stool, I can't even remember what else, but it came with several pieces and we picked it up for only $50. I mean, really, how can you pass something like that up? But it was very dated. It was solid wood construction, which was a bonus, but it had this glaze job on it that wasn't very well. It clearly dated it. And we knew that if we gave it a fresh coat of paint, it would give it a facelift and bring it up to speed. We did this for a client and of course they love it and it is now going to last this family a long time in its new home. Maybe you have an old piano that needs a little bit of help. We picked our piano up off of Classifieds for $300 and it needs some help. I have had plans to paint it all along, but I've never gotten around to it. <laughs> because for some reason it scared me because it's an instrument but we actually refinished this piano that's been in our family since the late 1800s and my brother and his wife have it in their home now and I realized you know what painting a piano is more or less like painting a piece of furniture all we did was tape off the keys protected it that way but really it was a simple thing to do and look at the transformation Another piece that we've refinished that has a dramatic before and after is this console table. I'd been searching for something to put in our bedroom that was fairly narrow and I found the perfect piece. It was the perfect size, perfect dimensions for our room, but it was this cherry wood color which did not go with my color scheme, the flow, the fill, or anything in our space. So we transformed this with chalk paint again. No, not chalk paint, salt wash. We transformed this with salt wash and a few different shades of paint to give it this really old weathered worn look and I love the finish. Another one of my favorite thrift finds is this desk. It is a pier one piece so it solid wood construction. It's very well built. It's durable but I just wasn't feeling this rustic vibe anymore so with a little bit of paint it's transformed and we love it in our office. Why not paint a piece of furniture with some sentiment? My husband and I were able to go to London. Um, it was for a business trip, but I was lucky enough to tag along and it happened to be over our 10th anniversary. So I wanted to do something that really would be special. And so in our entryway, I painted this Bombay dresser with the British flag um, and I love it. It's a good conversation starter when guests come to our home. It has our collage wall above with our travel memorabilia and photos and it's just a really fun piece to have around and it always makes me remember this trip. All right, have you ever thought of painting curtains? I mean, look how amazing awesome. they look. They look amazing. Or a rug. There's just so many fun things you can do with paint and it saves you a ton of yeah, money. It's very economical and, and really you can customize things. That's what's fun about it. It is. So we hope you liked this post and got a lot of inspiration how to transform items around your home with paint. Be sure to tap the links below for more information on each of these projects and be sure to check out our other videos. Of course, we have a lot of DIY videos out there. And don't forget this time of year, there's organizing and cleaning. Yes. Those are out there too. Yep. So be sure to subscribe to our channel. Comment below. We love hearing from you. And 
Um, all of our social media links are below to follow us. We are always putting new information out there, new ideas, new content, so be sure to follow us. So thanks for watching, and as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street. Thank you.